Hello beautiful humans, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tessa Stewart. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back sis. So in today's video, I will be doing a makeup tutorial for you girls. So I will be just going over this makeup look right here, showing you how I achieve this simple, easy, quick go-to look that takes me about 10 to 15 minutes to complete. It's just a look to help me look put together without much effort. So if you like to see how I achieve this look that I believe is appropriate for work, running errands, lunch, whatever your hearts desire, then just keep on watching. But before we move any further, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you are alerted with all of my future uploads. And let's get right into the video. We're gonna jump right in. Today I'm gonna be doing like my go-to makeup look. I have some tried and true favorites that I like to use. Currently I'm mixing it up just a little bit, barely, okay? I have already prepped my face. I primed with my Danessa Myricks Beauty Oil. This is a hydrating facial oil. I love this stuff. I believe you can use it on oily or dry skin. Then next I went in with my Danessa Myricks Illuminating Veil Liquid Highlighter in the shade Goddess and I just put that all over my face. It gives you like a nice glowing from within type of vibe. And then for my eyebrows, I just combed through a little bit of the Patrick Ta Brow Wax, and this is the tinted version. So I have my brows laid down, so we're just gonna jump right in. With this look, my main goal is just even skin. So I try to use as little foundation as possible, and what I mainly do is go in first with a concealer that is the same shade as my skin tone, and I just spot conceal. So I'm gonna start off with my Tried and True Pro Long Wear Concealer in the shade NC50. I'm just gonna put that in three main places. That's under my eyes, because I have massive dark circles. <laughs> so put that there. It looks like a lot, but it's really not. It's just a little bit. And then some above my lip because I'm dark around my mouth. Now, if you have other blemishes around your face that you are concerned about and you wanna cover, like I have some hyperpigmentation here, I have hyperpigmentation here. Personally, I don't care about that. <laughs> So I'm just gonna let it fly. I do have a little tiny scar here from a recent breakout. I'm gonna cover that, and for the most part, I am good to go. After you get that concealer down, you just wanna go in and blend it out. So this is a Real Techniques brush. You can get these from Ulta, Walmart, anywhere that sells Real Techniques. So just with adding that little bit of concealer, my face is already coming together. So now I'm gonna move on to the foundation. I am a lover of NARS, but the NARS foundation is just a little bit too light for me right now. So I'm kind of mixing it with the Charlotte Tilbury foundation in the shade 15. I will be using these two together. I'm gonna take a pump of each, just blend it in. And everywhere that I put the concealer, I'm not really gonna go over it, I'm just gonna go around it and blend the edges with the foundation because the concealer is pretty decent. You've already concealed that area, you don't need to go in with another layer unless your hyperpigmentation is really, you know, really deep. Then, yes, you can go over it, you know, with the foundation to cover it. Mine isn't that bad right now, so just gonna go around the perimeter. Make sure you get into your hairline. So I don't go directly under my eyes with the foundation because I've already put concealer there and then I also want to put a, just a dab of another concealer that's a little bit lighter just to brighten up my skin. So I'm really just going around and like around my nose. Guys, I got my lashes done at the beginning of the week and because I'm still a mess about my grandmother, I have cried them away already, they look a mess, oh my. Anyways, all right, so we got the foundation down. Look how flawless the skin is looking already. Now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the concealer, like I said. This is the MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer in NC45. I've been using this for years. Just gonna put a little dab under the eyes because we want a little bit of a brightness. Just a little bit. 
put a little bit between my forehead right here. So while that concealer sits and just gets a little bit more tacky, I'm just gonna go in with concealer and sharpen the edge of my brows. I take a mixture of equal parts of both of those concealers, the NC45 and NC50, mix it together, and that's what I use to carve out my brows. If you're new to my channel, I do not fill in my brows because my brows are already thick. Too much filling and they look a little aggressive. <laughs> so now I'm gonna go in and I'm just going to blend in all of that concealer. You know what I wanna try? I wanna try brow lamination. Now I have done like the at home lamination myself, but I didn't do the tinting because I was a little afraid that it would be too dark, but I do wanna try the lamination like by a professional just to see how it looks on me and like lay my brows a little bit better because they are unruly, girl, unruly. Oh my goodness, so <laughs> my anniversary was a week ago. So last week I went to the Drew Hill concert in Philly. It was actually pretty good. Here's the deal. I have not been to a non-gospel concert since I've been an adult. <laughs> Real talk, like the last, Non-gospel concert I went to was in middle school and that was DMX and Rough Riders, okay? We went to Drew Hill, it was a vibe. And these guys sing, still sing so good. We have the concealer blended out. Now it's time to go in and set the face. I wanna set my under eyes first before they get the chance to crease on me, sis. Blend out any makeup that's creasing. And then I'm gonna go in with my Laura Mercier translucent powder and honey. And then I'm just pressing it into my under eye with a powder puff. I get these powder puffs from Amazon. I've been getting them for years now. They're like little triangles. So we're gonna put a little bit right here in the middle of our forehead and down the bridge of our nose. Just a little. And then I'll use a brush for everywhere else that I put that Laura Mercier and set what's above my eyes. Now I'm gonna go in and set the rest of the face and I'll be using my NARS Light Reflecting Setting Powder in Mesa. Because I use an oil for a primer, I like to go in with a lot of powder to really set my face, just to make sure that it doesn't move around. This is a cream blush by Milani. It is in the shade Coral Crush. I really like this shade. I probably should have put this on before I put on my powder, but I forgot <laughs> and that's okay. So we're just gonna tap that in right on the cheeks. Ooh, I might've put a little too much on this side, but that's okay. I love this stuff. It gives like a nice glow, but like a good flush of color and it lasts for a decent amount throughout the day. And we're gonna set that with our Sephora blush. And I'm gonna be using this lighter shade, this one right here in the palette. And this one is a little bit more luminous than the other shade. Put it right on the cheeks, just like that. Now, with the same brush, I'm gonna go in with bronzer. So what I like to do is take the brush, get a paper towel, and I wipe off the excess product. So I do this the entire time that I'm doing my, my makeup. So whenever you go in, you wanna take the excess off of your brush. You can do it with a paper towel. You just wanna make sure you're not moving that product around your face. So I'm gonna be using my Black Radiance Contour Palette in medium to dark. I'm gonna go in with the darkest shade right there. Simply bronze up my face. So I go the bottom edge of where I put that color just to blend it together and then around the perimeter of my face. And then the trick that I showed you before in the previous video about the nose, I like to squeeze the brush and just go down the sides. Our base is done. Next, for the eyes. I'm pretty sure you've heard of this trick before. I'm pretty sure everyone uses it. But just another simple way to give yourself a more like put together look. You're gonna grab a fluffy brush. You're gonna get that same bronzer. Pack it up onto your brush. Hold your head back. And then wherever that natural contour goes, where your brow bone is, your socket rather, you're going to place your color there. You can start off with windshield wiper motions, right? Just to make sure that you got the right shape. 
and then you just slowly blend. And all you're doing is adding a little depth to your eye. So remember how we put that contour shade or bronzer shade down the sides of our nose and we started at our brow? Where that contour shade meets the brow, you wanna make sure you blend it out really well right there and then follow your crease the rest of the way. This way you have a seamless, a seamless look. And there you are, now you're nicely put together. After that, I like to go back in and brush through my brows one last time. All right, girl, so that was simple, it was quick, it was easy, okay? At this point, you can either place some falsies on if you're into that, you can do a nice little load of mascara. This look, I'm probably just going to, yeah, I'll put a little bit of bottom mascara. And this is the Danessa Myricks Dark Star Mascara. I like a lot of mascara, I know that not everybody does. I do, girl. I love mascara. I think mascara was like the first thing I fell in love with when it came to makeup. Mascara and then like lipstick. All right, so now we're ready for the lips. Generally, <laughs> when I do this makeup look, I just go for a plain, simple gloss or some type of like nude, right? Like a nice nude combination. So this is one of the combos that I really like to do. I'm gonna go in with my Morphe Lip Pencil and Trendsetter. Next, I'm gonna go in with Bad and Bare by MAC. It looks just like this. This is kind of like a taupey, more brown nude, slight, like a little bit of a pink undertone, but more taupe than pink, which I appreciate. But generally, I go with the pink or a taupey nude. So, right in the middle. Another alternative that I like to do this look with is MAC Velvet Teddy lipstick. Always clutch. Then I'm gonna go in with my Morphe lip gloss. This is in the shade Mars. I feel like this is like the perfect gloss to go with this lipstick. It's like a nice brown taupe nude. And there she is. I Love this lip combo. This has been my favorite lip combo for like a few weeks now. I keep going back to it. It's beautiful. It looks great with any look, any eyeshadow combo. Love this lippy right here. But I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do something with this hair and I will be right back with the finished look. sis this is the finished look what do you think of course I love it <laughs> I do it all the time this is such a quick easy and simple look it has been a staple look for me for quite some time now I might switch out a couple of the products but the routine is basically the same and honestly it's appropriate for any type of occasion where you just want to look you know like you put a little effort for it. If you do try the look, be sure to let me know in the comment section below, or you can hit me in the DMs on Instagram, sis. If you like this video and you wanna see more like this for me in the future, more makeup tutorials, vlogs, hauls, reviews, then be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you are alerted with all of my future uploads. And if you made it this far, you are a real one, and I love you for that. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.